At this tutorial, we will continue to explore the versatility and power of user-defined functions in Lua. We will begin by delving into several arithmetic functions that will lay the groundwork for creating a simple calculator. Let us begin by understanding how to define and utilize these functions to perform basic arithmetic operations. This knowledge will serve as a solid foundation for building more complex functionality. Using parameters allow us to pass values into functions when we call them, enabling the function to perform operations on different data each time it is invoked. In the context of our arithmetic functions, parameters like x and y allow us to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division on different numbers depending on what values we pass in. This flexibility makes our functions more versatile and applicable to a wide range of scenarios, such as creating a simple calculator where users can input different numbers for calculations. When we divide a number by zero, it is mathematically undefined, and attempting such an operation would typically result in an error. In programming, we want our code to be resilient and handle such cases gracefully, rather than crashing or producing unpredictable results. By checking if y is equal to zero before performing the division operation, we can prevent the program from encountering an error. Instead of allowing the division operation to proceed, which would result in a mathematical error, we provide a meaningful error message indicating that a division by zero has occurred. This approach enhances the reliability and usability of our code. It ensures that even if the user provides unexpected input, the program will not crash abruptly but will instead inform the user of the issue in a clear and understandable way. Handling division by zero is a common scenario encountered in programming, especially in situations where mathematical operations are involved. Dividing by zero is mathematically undefined, and attempting such an operation can lead to errors or unexpected behavior in a program. Therefore, it is a good practice to include checks for division by zero in your code whenever division operations are performed to ensure that the program behaves predictably and provides meaningful feedback to the user in case of invalid inputs. This helps make the code more robust and user-friendly. The next part of the code allows the program to interact with the user by prompting them to input values and choose an operation to perform. We are prompting the user to provide input for the first number, the operation they want to perform, and the second number. We use to number function to convert the user's input into numerical values. This ensures that we can perform mathematical operations with the input. If the conversion fails, for example, if the user enters text instead of a number, to number returns nil. In that case, we use to number io read or zero to provide a default value of zero, ensuring that we have valid numerical inputs to work with. By including to number and providing default values of zero, we ensure that our program does not break if the user provides unexpected input. It is a way to handle potential errors or invalid inputs gracefully. In essence, this part of the code allows our program to interact with the user, gather necessary input for mathematical operations, and handle potential errors or unexpected input smoothly. Now let us break down the final step. We use if, else if, and else to create a series of conditional statements based on the operation chosen by the user. 
The if statement checks if the operation variable is equal to plus. If it is, it executes the code block inside the if statement, which calls the add function with the provided numbers a and b and prints the result. If the operation is not plus, the else if statements check for other operations and execute the corresponding code blocks accordingly. If the operation does not match any of the expected values, the else block is executed, printing an error message indicating that the operation is invalid. Each code block within the conditional statements uses print to display the result of the operation, along with the appropriate message. Overall, this block of code determines which mathematical operation to perform based on the user's input, operation, executes the corresponding function, and prints the result. If the user provides an invalid operation, it informs them of the error. Note. In the defined functions, the parameters are named x and y. However, when we interact with the user and gather input, we assign those inputs to variables named a and b. This naming difference is just a matter of convenience and clarity in the code. When defining the functions, x and y are generic names for the parameters, indicating that the functions can accept any numerical values. When interacting with the user, a and b are used to represent the specific numbers provided by the user for the calculation. Using different variable names for the user input and the function parameters helps make the code more readable and understandable. It clearly distinguishes between the generic parameters used within the functions and the specific values provided by the user. In Lua programming, reusing functions is a fundamental concept known as function abstraction or modular programming. It involves creating functions that perform specific tasks and can be called multiple times throughout your code. This approach enhances code readability, reduces redundancy, and simplifies maintenance. You can achieve function reuse by defining functions with parameters that can vary each time the function is called, allowing for flexibility and versatility in your code. Additionally, Lua supports the creation of modules, which are collections of related functions that can be reused across different projects by importing them into your code. Function abstraction allows you to break down complex tasks into smaller, manageable units of functionality. By encapsulating specific tasks within functions, you can isolate and focus on solving individual problems, making your code easier to understand and maintain. Reusable functions with descriptive names improve the readability of your code. By abstracting away implementation details behind function calls, you can express the intent of your code more clearly, making it easier for other developers, including your future self, to understand and work with the code base. Instead of duplicating code for similar tasks across your program, function abstraction enables you to define reusable functions that can be called multiple times. This reduces redundancy, minimizes errors, and promotes consistency throughout your code base. Functions with parameters provide flexibility, allowing you to customize their behavior based on different inputs. This versatility makes your code more adaptable to changing requirements and facilitates scalability as your project grows in complexity. By organizing your code into modular functions, you create logical units that can be independently tested, debugged, and updated. This simplifies the maintenance process, as you can focus on fixing or enhancing specific functions without affecting other parts of the code base. In summary, function abstraction in Lua programming empowers developers to write cleaner, more organized, and more maintainable code. By embracing modular design principles and leveraging the power of reusable functions, you can streamline development workflows, improve code quality, and build robust software solutions.